Welcome to our webinar on the Ott MF Pro flow meter. Over the next 15 to 20 minutes, I will provide a general overview of the Ott MF Pro, its features, and applications. But first, I will now give you a brief history on Ott and its work with flow meters. Ott hydrometry was founded in Kempton, Germany in 1873 by Albert Ott as a mathematical mechanical institute. Two years later, Ott produced its first mechanical current meter for measuring in-stream velocities. Soon thereafter, Ott current meters became the industry standard for velocity measurement. By the 1970s, Ott had developed modern mechanical current meters, the C31 and C2. In 1992, Ott developed its first electromagnetic meter, the Ott Nautilus. And in 2004, Ott produced its first acoustic current meter, the Ott ADC. Finally, in 2012, Ott produced the Ott MF Pro, a modern electromagnetic magnetic flow meter. Let's first talk about some limitations of mechanical current meters. Mechanical meters have several limitations that may limit their use under certain conditions. For example, minimum flow velocities are required to rotate the propellers. In addition, water with high concentrations of suspended sediment and matter may be problematic for the, the device while taking a measurement and for maintaining per, the propellers over time. Other environmental considerations when using a mechanical meter include identifying the minimum water depth Propellers need to rotate in order to measure the water velocities, and if the water is too shallow, this rotation may not occur, even though the velocities meet the minimum criteria. Finally, sites with weeds and plants are problematic for mechanical meters. Consider what would happen if a mechanical meter was used at this site. The Ott MF Pro addresses many of the potential issues with mechanical meters. To learn how it works, let's first review the magnetic inductive measurement principle. Faraday's law is used for measuring the flow of electrically conductive liquids like water. These instruments are called magnetic flow meters. The induced voltage generated in the magnetic field is due to a conductive liquid moving at a particular velocity. So when an MF Pro sensor is placed in flowing water, a magnetic field around the sensor creates a voltage propor proportional to the flow velocity. This voltage amplitude, which represents the rate of water flow around the sensor, is detected by electrodes in the sensor and processed by the sensor's microprocessor. Moving into the unit itself, a display unit is used to view and store collective velocity data. In addition, the display unit offers two measurement modes, real-time for single point measurements and profiler for discharge calculations. The display unit also serves as the system's power supply and is connected to the sensor with a data cable. Stable cable lengths support applications using a weighting rod or suspension weight for bridge deployment. The sensor provides a wide velocity measurement range of 0 to 20 feet per second and has an accuracy of 2%. It is available with or without an integrated depth sensor. The photograph here shows an MF Pro installed on a USGS style top setting weighting rod. Looking closer at the, the display unit, the di the display unit is menu-driven and prompts users for inputs. The keypad is alphanumeric and is easily operated with gloves on. Tabular and graphical data is displayed in real time on the large color LCD display and it is viewable in bright, bright sunlight and with polarized sunglasses. In addition, the display unit archives collected measurements that can be downloaded to a PC using a USB cable. The display unit simply acts as a mass storage device, eliminating the need for additional software. On this slide, we are looking at an example of the display unit screen during a velocity measurement for a stream profile. 
The battery charge indicator in the upper right corner lets you know how much battery life remains. The average battery life after a full charge is approximately 18 hours of operation. Now here we have the depth calibration indicator, which is only available on the depth model. A green circle on the upper right is noticeable when the pressure transducer has been zeroed within the past 30 minutes. A red circle, also accompanied by a pop-up message, is visible when the pressure transducer requires zeroing. Now progress of the measurement is indicated by the status of the current reading, expressed in percentage complete, which is helpful if using longer averaging routines in turbulent streams. Now, as I've mentioned, there are two versions of the MF Pro available, with and without depth. The integrated absolute depth sensor measures water depth referencing the surface of the water as zero and has a range of zero to 10 feet. Note the minimum water depth for the velocity sensor is only 1.25 inches. Depth sensor measurements are used to determine total maximum depth at each station and for positioning the sensor at the correct point location in the water column. For example, the sensor depth field shown in green depicts the sensor's depth measured by the pressure sensor compared to the target depth. If the sensor is not at the correct position, the sensor depth box is filled in red. Total depth measurement using the pressure sensor, positioning assistance, and visual color coding all assist with reducing measurement time and positioning uncertainty. Additionally, it automatically calibrates when placed in the air for a few seconds. We will have a look at another example when we talk field deployment. However, before we move on to more application-related topics, let's spend a minute to talk about sensor maintenance. The sensor should be cleaned when unexpected decreases or increases in flow or depth trends occur. To clean the sensor, disconnect the sensor from the meter and use dish soap and water, window cleaner, or isopropyl alcohol. It is possible to conduct a velocity calibration to remove a velocity offset. The calibration applies a new offset that stays active until the meter is powered off. This is known as zero velocity or zero flow calibration. The OTT MF Pro was designed specifically for measuring point velocities and water depth in open channels, natural streams, and pipes or conduits. Discharge measurements are based on standard vertical or subsection measurement techniques associated with the mid and mean section discharge calculations based on internationally recognized USGS and ISO 748 standards. The OTT MF Pro supports one, two, three, five, and six point velocity methods. Mean velocity and depth measurements taken by the MF Pro, along with the position of the sensor on the tagline, are used to calculate the discharge of the meter. Now here are a few examples of ideal use, single point or multiple point velocity and discharge measurements. Velocity and depth information from the sensor is displayed in real time on the handheld unit. At the end of a discharge measurement, total discharge is shown and a depth and velocity profile are graphically illustrated, along with percent discharge per station. The real-time measurement option provides easy access to view real-time velocity and depth measurements and capture one or more measurements to a data file. The screen shown on the left depicts the graphical measurement screen where velocity scale is shown on the y-axis and velocity is plotted over time. In this case, the measurement interval, or FPA, which stands for fixed period averaging, is 20 seconds. This is user-selectable and the range is from 1 to 480 seconds. The default is 30 seconds. The display unit can store up to three files with as much as 480 one-second readings per file. Now an example of this is shown in the center of your screen.
For in-stream or bridge-conducted discharge measurements, a user would select Profiler and then Stream. For a well-chosen cross-section, division into 25 to 30 partial sections is typically sufficient. If the cross-section is very smooth and, and the velocity distribution very consistent, it is possible to decrease the number of stations. The MF Pro manual offers a guide on the number of stations based on stream width. The MF Pro offers two modes, fixed and non-fixed. The fixed mode assumes equidistant spacing, whereas the non-fixed, which is the default, allows the user to enter in vertical spacing that varies as you move from one station to another. This allows the user to adjust their vertical spacing to achieve 5 to 10% discharge per station. The screen shoot on the right is included in the channel summary and illustrates the percentage discharge per station where the y-axis is the percentage of discharge. Now here on this slide, the photographs at top illustrate a discharge measurement from initial measurement and tagline setup to conducting the measurement. It is important to note that measurement quality is dependent on the correct selection of a measurement cross-section. Select a section of stream with the following characteristics. The flow directions at each measurement point across the stream should be parallel to the bank and perpendicular to the cross-section. The stream bread should be stable and free of large rocks, weeds, and, pr and protruding obstructions such as piers that can cause turbulence. Now the screenshots on the bottom provide an example of how the menu-driven display walks you through a measurement. Starting on the left, you first define the edge, right or left edge of the water. Then you define and enter the distance your vertical is from the reference point. This represents the value, your position along the cross-section relative to the tagline. Next, if you have an integrated depth sensor, you will move the sensor to rest on the stream bed and select OK to record the total depth. Now you can define an offset to take into account your weighting rod base. If the sensor is not equipped with the depth sensor, you would enter the value you've read from the weighting rod. Next, you would select the number of points. A good general reference is switch from one point to a two point if the water depth is greater than two feet. The final step is to review your discharge measurement as illustrated at the screen on the bottom right. Now we're going to look at how there's graphical assistance to help you place your sensor. The handheld display uses the total depth value for each vertical and calculates the correct vertical position based on the number of selected points. For example, if you select one point, the display will guide you to the 6 tenth depth. When the position of the sensor is far away from the target depth, the lower box is filled with red, as you can see at the screen on the left. The position of the sensor is also illustrated by the green bracket to the right of the blue vertical line. As you move the sensor closer to the target depth, the box turns yellow. And when the sensor is located in the correct vertical position, the box changes to green. The automatic calculations and on-screen visuals reduce the amount of time and effort required to correctly position the sensor for a point measurement. Now looking at some of the, the QAQC checks already in the handheld, um, at the end of a discharge measurement, total discharge calculated based on the user-defined discharge mesh default is midsection. For example, refer to the screenshot on, on the left. A depth and velocity profile is also available in the channel summary as shown in the center. In addition, the percent discharge per station is also shown. The display provides all this information automatically without any additional processing or effort.
As seen in the previous slide, the meter automatically calculates total discharge based on measured velocities and depths. All collected data can be downloaded simply by connecting the handheld meter to your PC. The meter acts as a mass storage device, and once you have connected the USB cable to the meter and PC, File Explorer will automatically open. Data can be opened with Microsoft Excel and saved to a desired location on your PC. On this slide, we have an example of a stream profile measurement that was opened with Microsoft Excel. The upper portion of the file includes basic information about your site, such as site name, operator, and stage reference. Information about the instrument is also listed, including the averaging time and pre-filter settings. Discharge method and starting edge location is defined along with the number of stations, stream width, total discharge, total area, and mean depth. The file also includes a time series and lists, lists the recorded velocity, depth, and location for each point. In addition, average velocity, area, and flow for each station is automatically calculated. It's important to quickly bring up that in addition to velocity measurements in streams and rivers, the MF Pro supports conduit measurements. These measurements are important for calibration in municipal wastewater industries. In summary, the OTT MF Pro is a user-friendly, low-maintenance electromagnetic flow meter for cost-efficient in-stream discharge measurement. The OTT MF Pro saves time and resources in the field by automatically calculating discharge based on USGS and ISO methods and graphing velocity data in real time, allowing trends to be visualized quickly. The rod mount mounted meter with color screen captures all data allowing measurements to be taken by one person and eliminating the need for handwritten calculations or post-measurement data correction. Thank you for your time today.